morning from sunny Ingleborough. Thanks to James and Burns for his directions. Took us to exactly the location we needed to be at. The car park just up from the chapel. It's the first time I've been here. I've been to Ingleton lots and lots of times before. To the falls and to the other side near Twistleton over that way chilly lovely mist some amazing lone trees as always when you're in this place treacherous underfoot and there behind me Lynn It really is like you're walking on the back of some megalithic dinosaur. I keep thinking it's going to rise up any minute now. So I'm currently just walking around, scouting out the location. Right, let's see what else we can find. See ya. Good morning. Well, it's still only around 10 o'clock. We've moved on from where we first, when we started, just above the car park near the chapel. We've been tr trying to find a specific composition that we're going to blatantly copy by James R. Burns. It's three trees, and he's managed to get quite low down, and the foreground rocks form a lovely V shape with real drama in the photograph. Now I have no problems copying a photograph and on this occasion I've not been able to do it because we couldn't find the bloody thing. We do believe, or oh, blinded, we do believe it's there. It's not further that way and it's not over there. So it must be down there. It's good to go to, oh bloody hell that was close. Good scouting mission. I've done it again. Got this habit of pressing record on my Zoom, but forgetting to press record on the mic on the uh, on the video. And as they always say, the second time round will never be as good. So as we crossed the brow, trying to find the lone trees with the triangular angle on in, in the limestone, we happened across this little tiny tree. Just, oh, oh, this is professional. Over there somewhere. And initially, the light was a lot more diffused and a lot softer because the sun hadn't quite risen. So at the front of the tree, where I'm looking at now and where hopefully you can see, was quite dark against the white side of the mountain. I was quite low down. So you've got some really nice contrast between the fog, the front of the tree and the mountain in the background with the snow on it. The clouds aren't as good as they were before because they've buggered off. But there is still a bit of cloud rolling across the top of the mountain in the background. I've shot square format, I've shot 4x3, I've done a couple of panoramas and a couple of HDRs because the sun is getting quite bright at the moment. I've also got a 0.6 hard grid on to try to bring a bit more detail in the sky. I like the tree. It's simple. It won't win any awards, but that's not the point of today, and it's not the point of any days, if I'm honest. Works well. Simple composition. Didn't overthink it. Yeah, that's lovely. I've done F2, 0.8, and F11. I may have said that already. It's recording, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, nice and simple. You may or may not be able to see it, but no, it's quite it's diffusion. There's some lovely low cloud in the valley. So I think we're gonna take a bit take a walk a bit further on to see what else we can find. But it's getting nice and warm now and I've got thermals on. <laughs> it's bloody roasting. See you soon. Ta -da. Good afternoon. Good morning, even. Well it's twenty past eleven. 
the sun is very bright and we have a happy Lynn. She's found the composition she's been after for some time. There's a tree there and in the foreground you have a lovely V. You have a lovely V with the rock formations. Now it's not original. It's very much a scouting mission because as you can see the sun as I've just said is well and truly risen. Still a, a little bit shadow but it's very harsh. So absolutely fantastic clouds in the valley moving up some lovely dappled light on the side of the mountain you can't be a good scouting trip i've got a book on clouds but i always forget what they're called not to lunas they're not lovely they're not them <clears throat> so we're just about done from here found this tree not the best but it's got a lovely curve in it which I suspect could be from from the wind blowing up or down the valley. What makes the tree work for me is that the cloud behind it is absolutely spectacular. Don't know where it came from because the sky was blanket cloud then it just vanished but it came back and that really adds another dimension to the photograph. And probably chest height compositionally. It's not moving very fast, but you've got drama, you've got mobile, it'll work well as a black and white. You open me focus, it'll work well as a black and white. So I can see my car and Lynn's motorhome about 15 miles away, so that'll be an interesting trip back. Enjoyable morning, really has been enjoyable. I did a few panoramas of this tree. As I say, got quite low down. Uh, I didn't bracket this time, so it's probably one, two, three, four photographs. It didn't work as good as it could have done because I had to put the tree on the right hand side because that's where the clouds were. The left hand side at the time was empty. So essentially the tree is going out of the frame, which doesn't work as well as it could do. And all we've heard all morning is hounds back and it's like a scene out of the Hound of the Bloody Baskervilles and we saw them all right behind the camera. Yeah we're just about done from here. I could stay here for a long time because it really is spectacular. There's all manner of compositions to be had. I suspect coming here in autumn if these trees catch any kind of reds or oranges or yellows that will work even better. So from here it's a quick trip to Ribble Head to meet up with Dan. I'm going to head home to feed my daughter but they really are spectacular probably some of the best clouds you can get the flat horizontal clouds don't work they are fluffy they are contrasty they are moving so I've taken some long exposures with the clouds coming towards us because that works really really well I've also taken some shorter exposures to really capture the detail in the clouds is it 100%? No, I wish there was a better tree. There you go, but we're never satisfied. Yeah, they really are working. Well, I'm gonna up, oh, fall over. Yeah, you can't quite, <sighs> difficult to compose. If you get, might actually work. What you've got, you've got the curve of the tree and you've got the top of the mountain in the background so it really does complement each other. There's a few stray twigs but are they important? They're more important than me so I may, I may have a go at this. There will be a bit of cloning to be done because there are some cars as I mentioned earlier on. That may work. It would be. Yeah, I'm gonna have a go at that. Anyway, stop waffling. Don't break your neck. See you soon. <laughs>